hello you're welcome back to my channel how are you doing hope you're doing good today so thank you for joining us and please while you watch what we have today don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell so that whenever we have new videos or new uploads you'll be notified and don't forget to like and um, share us out so now let's dig into the life in into the life of peggy Oviri. peggy Oviri, no formally called a noho because now we all know her status has changed she's now being called peggy Uvire frederick leonard married to also a colleague in the movie industry she's addressed commonly as peggy a nigerian model movie producer and actress who won the award for the most promising actress of the year at the city people entertainment awards in 2015 on her heading life and education, Vera hails from Rugele Delta State, Nigeria. She was born into the family of six children, of which she was the last born child of her parents. Mm, last born child, but this one doesn't look like last born because with all these accomplishments, I don't call this last born. So she has done so well for herself. Vera was born in Lagos State, where she has now been living for the most part of her life. Vera attended a Tiran Nazran Primary School in Surulere and AUT Secondary School which is also situated in Surulere, Lagos State. Ovira for her most secondary school education enrolled in Delta State University at Braca, but eventually we completed at Ambrose Alu University in Edo State where she obtained a Bachelor of Science degree in Banking and Finance. Now let's dig into her career. Ovira before her debut into the Nigerian movie industry, Nollywood began her career as a model. First, she was a model, as she described in an interview with the Punch Print Media House. She further explained her first ever movie was one produced by Uchi Nancy. Uchi Nancy was a big top shot in Nollywood, a producer too. Ovira's movie career came into limelight with her role in the TV series titled Husbands of Lagos. Ovira claimed the TV series brought her notability and she has become recognizable outside of her home country in Nigeria. And she was part of the cast screen Rising Sun alongside the fine Carlo. On her awards and nominations, Uviri won the award for the most promising actress of the year at the 2015 City People Entertainment Awards. On all the movies she has featured and the production, in addition to being an actress and a model, Uviri is a film producer who has worked on films including Informer, Fool Me Once, and The Other Woman. On the selected filmography and TV series she has featured in are yeah. One, A Long Night, Raw Switch, Game Changer, Husbands of Lagos, which is TV series, Playing with Hearts, Marry Me Yes or No, The Apple of Discord, Last Engagement, Second Chances, which is 2040, was produced uh, by Lola Day, Ghetto Breed, Grey, Loving Ellen, Living Thoughts, A Taste of Grief, Long Shadow, Help Proof, baby boy for better for trouble and rising so peggy Oviri is also a woman advocate in one of the interviews that she spoke she said why women should not be afraid of dna tests nollywood actress peggy Oviri, also known as ego yibo has said that there is nothing wrong with verifying the paternity status of the kids in a marriage nothing that women should not be afraid about doing DNA. That is to show to you. She also asks this to one of the things she does in an interview with Inside Hollywood. The actress said only a cheating wife will be scared of getting a DNA test, saying the issue is very, very sensitive. The topic of DNA test is a very sensitive issue. But my take, as she said, is why start a family with someone who can't or don't trust you? If and when I get married, my hobby asks for a DNA test, as she's quoted, I would want to know why he feels her kids are not his before going ahead to get it done. Besides, only a cheating wife will be scared of getting a DNA test. <laughs> oh wow. So the beautiful actress also spoke on this issue about qualities a future husband has to possess. As she says, she will never date a lazy or one who thinks a woman is a slave. That's to show to it that she's a woman advocate. She also said in a thrift spender with no moral values turns her off. A thrift spender. <laughs> Somebody that is always, you know, always stingy. Mm -hmm. Three spender with no moral values turns her off. So I'm sure that Frederick Lona uh, actor has all this quality that she's got in here. 
this is as much we can take today hope you enjoyed it at least you've known a little bit of our background the background of our dear actress peggy Oviwe. please while you watch like i said before don't forget to subscribe turn on your bell so you'll be